what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and can you believe it we're finally doing another video on outriders it's been a hot minute but of course most of my subscribers on the channel know me from my outriders coverage i think that was around about the time that i blew up so with the sort of deadline if i can call it that of an imminent announcement from people can fly around the corner based on what's next for the game um as per a update which they posted both to twitter and to reddit a while back i thought it would be a good idea for us to just review what exactly that looks like in a timeline perspective from what we know but also at the same time for me to mention the three things that i hope the most that we see from this announcement so without any further ado let's jump right in So the post that I'm referring to, of course, is the Dev News Thursday update from October 7th, which you can see on the screen here now. Now, essentially what this was is it wasn't a very comprehensive post, but it definitely did detail two very important things, which is kind of what prompted me to make this video as well. Now, first of and foremost, uh, it was mentioned that in mid to late October, we will likely have a small technically focused patch for Outriders. This wouldn't necessarily be a bug fix fixing patch, fixing uh but rather an update to address some game code related matters now we know that that patch did actually happen as well as a patch that landed shortly afterwards that essentially brought stadia players of the game up to date with the current version of the game which is fucking phenomenal it only took them like i guess like six months to do that to finally have stadia customers uh you know experience the game the same way that the rest of us has been doing it which is buggy no i'm joking but uh but yeah to to kind of bring everybody out to date, and that really is a good thing all jokes aside and uh i i've never tried the game out on stadia but it would be interesting if any of you could comment down below if you have any experience in uh, on of of the game on stadia if you tried it out and if it's uh, you know any good if it's working right now but the reason for this video is actually the second point in this update and that is that which mentioned here that in early to mid november will then show off more of the exciting changes coming to Outriders and, if all goes well, release the planned bigger update in mid-November. You won't want to miss it, so make sure you mark your calendars. Now, I did exactly that and I did mark my calendar and lo and behold, when I went outside for the first time in three weeks yesterday, I realized that, holy shit, we've just kicked the first week of November's ass. So, we're very much in this point now where early to mid-November is now here the idea is that hopefully we can expect possibly by this thursday which would be the 11th of november that we could potentially see an update of sorts not the actual patch i mean but perhaps an idea of what the, what this patch entails now i think it's a bit ambitious to expect that we will see for instance this pat that this thursday rolling the patch out first of all by not you know telling the the the, the, the audience or you know the people about it first that's point number one point number two uh we've at great length on this channel but also the internet has discussed the proposed changes to moaning winds as well as fortress and you know what that entails and i also don't think that we can expect that to land anytime you know soon or even as part of this you know future announcement however what i really do hope and this is the part where we're just going to quickly dive into some of the things that i hope that comes with this patch is um first and foremost something that i'd love to see and I, I think this is on everybody's sort of radar is loadouts and i'm gonna say loadouts and or a bigger stash preferably i'd like loadouts and a bigger stash but if i could just get one of the two that would be okay as well i guess i have well over 600 hours in this game and anybody that has played multiple characters will know that you very soon start running out of space especially if you are even a little bit of a hoarder and you know keep weapons which have decent roles as well as you know you're actively looking at the shops and you know buying new gear that you can potentially infuse with new mods and all of that and then of course the other thing is that you don't just keep one viable build per character so potentially like in the case of my pyro i have four different builds that i carry around on my pyro with me and in the case of the techno i have three builds that i carry around so having some kind of a loadout selector would make this a lot easier now i've never had the unfortunate thing happen where i deleted something by accident that i didn't mean to delete because of the all selected you can do and because you can't mark items or set them to a loadout so they can't be deleted 
but i have read some horror stories on reddit and it sounds fucking terrible and it's definitely something that i don't want to happen to me or to anybody for that matter so loadouts i think and being able to mark here yeah, and like i said a bigger stash all of these things you know it's just around the inventory management perspective and it would just make you know would make a lot of sense for them to bring something like that in i don't know how difficult that would be to code into the game but that would be for me like actually number one i know you guys might be saying like holy shit you don't want more content you want more of that i think we're getting those things in any case so for me from an operational perspective and you know just making the game mechanics work better for me or not so much the game mechanics but just the inventory in the game and the management thereof work better for me this would be my number one now my number two did i just elbow my poor desk sorry my number two would be um and this is this is gonna be a weird one but um at the moment right now how it works with mods is you of course the, this is well known by everybody but you disenchant or dismantle items that have mods on and that is that, that essentially adds them to your mod bank which means you can then pull those mods on and put them onto weapons and stuff now or, uh, or gear for that matter now the point is at the moment right now that is character specific so if you have six characters and you want to build mod banks for each one of them you have to dismantle all weapons six times um i don't necessarily think that this is a very healthy ecosystem and it's a if if it's if it's built in a way to increase the longevity of the game making you have to farm the same weapons and the same gear out six times to get the same mods and everything like that it's not like the best way of doing it because i think people will get frustrated long before then we all know the horror stories of people taking you know like forever to get certain mods to drop and yeah i know you can use the inventory system to transfer it to another character and then put the mod across and then transfer it back so if they allow that already in my mind it would be it would just make a lot more sense to just combine the entire modding into something that's account wide and so then to have an account wide mod bank allowing you to essentially just pull the mods from that bank on any character as long as it's on the same account and it's been a locked in account and there you go so that would be my number two now my third one and by the way before i mention my third one of course i don't just have three things that i want added to this game i have a hundred things that i want added to this game but because i don't think i can keep you here for three hours listening to the hundred things that i would add to the game uh, I figured that I would just really try to condense this into a top three list. But trust me, there's many other things that I would like to see in this. And I desperately want you guys to also comment in the comments down below as to what you think would be your top three or what's your most important thing or what's the thing that you hope most from this announcement. But in any case, this is about me. So we're going back to number three. And that is that I would like other ways of completing expeditions. So... This, I'm a little bit cheating here because by me saying that I'm able to pull a whole bunch of different things in but basically what I mean at the moment right now the game is essentially a, a massive time trial and so this of course dictates the kind of builds that you make because everything has to be as efficient as possible to deal as much AOE as possible to go through the levels as fast as possible so there's no real you know use in building something that's incredibly tanky because that while if it's not able to kill stuff fast enough then you're not going to get a gold clear and you're not going to make it you might get a silver or bronze but you're not going to get a gold likewise building any kind of synergistic builds where you know you heal yourself when you do this and that and you use like a cute gun or you use a sniper rifle or something like that again just walks up against that wall of like is this the most efficient way for you to play it no fuck it go for efficient and there you go I think if we change the way our expeditions work and so keep the time trials in for those people that like to do that and that like to do fast as clear as possible and and that kind of thing and and, and clear races and clear time races and you know world records and all of that leave that in there for them because there's a, there's definitely a huge community out there that fucking adores that i myself partook in it for quite a while and i thought it was great and i loved posting new times and all that that's great but create alternatives for other people to essentially play the game uh, i would say the way that they want to play it what i mean by this is you know a horde mode or a wave based mode that essentially says okay cool you can either complete this expedition by you know doing it under six minutes or you can complete this expedition by surviving 15 waves or something like that or 250 enemies or you know something like that or how about you can clear this but you you can't die more than once and make it like fucking ridiculously difficult but have no timer at all but if you die you're out 
it's almost like a roguelite in a way so or what about um forcing certain weapon combinations like the only way you can finish this expedition is if you use a sniper rifle and a shotgun or a sniper rifle and a pistol or two submachine guns or something like that and basically force people to play a little bit outside their comfort zone but still not in such a way that they're like ah oh, man i need to do this in six minutes so i need to pick the most broken shit that i can think of and essentially chase them into taking you know fortress and moaning winds for instance or something like that so yeah those are the three things very shortly explained like i said let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that uh, more than anything else i'm just really looking forward to this announcement coming from them like i said hopefully it comes by thursday i actually did reach out to people can fly on twitter as well although i don't think i can i don't think i can rightfully expect an answer i don't really know if they know who i am <laughs> so whether i should get an answer or not but i tried to do it as a jokey way as possible as i could but uh of course i will share it with the audience and with people in discord and everybody like that anybody that isn't following me on twitter by the way go follow me on twitter and if we get some kind of an answer before thursday i'll be sure to share that but otherwise hopefully we can expect some really cool news or something like that sometime this week sometimes they come out with this shit on tuesday so who knows right but i definitely think according to their own timeline this is due now anytime and it would be great to have some kind of like biggish thing coming to the game before christmas uh lord knows there's a whole bunch of fucking good games out right now to play but outriders will always be very close to my heart very dear to my channel and something that i'd love to return back to and 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 just experience something new or something different even if it's with the same guns and everything like that i love the game i love playing it i like i think the audience that you know loves playing it as well and it would be something cool to do in a community together again as well but that's it for the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far if you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way please consider giving it a like and subbing to the channel maybe share the video with a buddy or something like that it really does help the channel and me and the algorithm and all of that a lot and it would just mean a whole lot to me but uh that's basically it the most important thing i need you to do though is have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super awesome evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now